Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and today I am joined by a brown oh, sheep. Wow. Oh, Soren too. I did not have sheep. <laughs> you I punched the sheep. Did. What did the sheep do to you? I, Soren, please. Did you notice there was a hit? What? There's so many things. There's We're on we're on 1.11 and there's so many new things, and goodness, I hope someone can sleep. Did you see how many people are on the server right now? Yes, I did. There's like 13, I think. Yeah, it's, take. It's, it's a large number of people. Oh. Uh, so, brand new Forgecraft series. So, in the past... So, I'm going to explain something real quick, if I may. Uh-huh. In the past, I have differentiated between the Forgecraft 2 series and the Forgecraft 1 series. And Forgecraft 1, I called server play. And Forgecraft 2, I called Forgecraft 2. And long story short, I think it's gotten confusing. So, I am rebranding the series as just... Forgecraft. So it is Forgecraft series episode one. That's where we're at. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So it's 1.11 Minecraft. There's a bunch of mods. I punched I punched a chicken and there's a little negative one that popped up, so I don't know if that's a mod or not. <laughs> that's that's a mod, I think. What what is happening to this what is this giant thing on? Item zoom. Shift Z. So there's oh, a Oh hey, cool. Uh, I figured out how to turn it off, so that's important. Oh, okay. I know it was yeah. a toggle. Shift, shift Z toggles it shrunk mine. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so, Goodness actually, gracious. I look down. Every time I move, yeah. there's footsteps. Oh, is that vanilla? That's fascinating me. It only shows mine, I guess. Yeah, so. no, I, I, I can see mine, but I can't see yours. So, I assume that's not vanilla. Not that I know of. I don't know what's vanilla of one of them at all, except I, for yeah, llamas yeah. and shulker boxes. Cool. There's Sounds a skeleton like that way. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that way. Yeah, no, I'm going. I'm going elsewhere. I'm gonna punch some trees. Is that something? Like so, so, so you said that you wanted to be here when we figure out where we're gonna live. So, looking at you, buddy. It's nighttime. I'm not adventuring right now. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch things. I'm gonna punch some trees. You're in spawn zone. Oh, I'm probably in also an admin. Have you played Invasion? Yeah. I haven't. It's not really my style. Yeah. So the problem is, is like I keep playing Invasion and then I switch over to another map and like my instinct is to right click the items because Invasion, they like land on the ground as item entities and you have to right click to pick them up. Which is really confusing and annoying. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty much awful. I want to check a few things. Okay. Looking good. Is anybody sleeping? They're trying. Also, like, instinctually, I was afraid to break that crafting table. Like, it was just like, oh no, if I break it, it's bad. <laughs> Invasion messes with your head, dude. Oh, look at I that. I think, I think that's one probe that's on the top left. It's like Whala, but it's one yeah. probe. I need to experience night. There's a couple Endermen. There's literally two Endermen there's... and there's a Creeper following you. Yeah. And spiders. There's a Creeper. There's a Creeper. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Someone sleep now! I'm getting a little bit of a lag spike. I'm not sure if that's just me or... Is it frame rate lag spike? Because I was experiencing similar. Yeah. It looks like it's garbage collection. Oh, it could be. It could be. There's actually a bar for right now. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, look, there's a little bar up there. That's cool. That's neat. Yes, and it's it's green, and it's yellow, and then it's red, and then it... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to tweak that creeper. a little bit. Creeper. Bad creeper. Go away. I know you and creeper is attacking. It not work well. Hey, it's daytime, so that's good. Oh, I almost got him. I almost got what? him. What is all this that just happened? I don't know. Did you see it all that? It was like confetti. It was a pinata explosion. <laughs> that was cool. Can you do that again? Go find another creeper. Go find him. I found a horse. <laughs> Not a creeper, though. Let's go find a place to live that we can call home. All right. Uh, let's mm, east. We're heading east. OK. You're the boss, boss. Forever. So, this place is covered in flowers. Yeah, I think this is the lavender fields, right? Oh, look at that. That's a cool structure in the distance. Looks like a village of some kind, too. 
So this server was spun up today, so I doubt that anybody built... I mean, it's possible that somebody built that, but I'm going to go on a limb and say that's World Gen. Yeah, I think we have... We have... What's, what's the mod called? Hold on, let me look at the... Dire! What? Turn around! What are they? They're deer! Oh, it's from Roots 2. Yeah, we have Roots 2 on the server. Do we have Ember as well, or is it just... Uh, yeah, we have Embers too. Okay. See, Ellison's on. Oh, yeah. It's something with an R that I'm looking for. Recurrent Complex is the name of the mod, and I think it adds world gem structures. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, Recurrent Complex is the one doing that. But I might be mistaken, because I really don't know. Wow, my hunger is... I should stop sprinting. <laughs> yes, you should. <laughs> I should really stop sprinting. And let's, let's get out the village find... and food. Yeah, let's find some food in the village. Hopefully, I say as I sprint towards the village. Do you like, check out, have you noticed like the, 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 the mountain? Yeah. Do you uh, notice like how nice it looks? That cuts. I, I think that's Custis mod doing that. I'm not really sure. It, it's the ATG thing, I think. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. ATG terrain type. Like, it makes it so that mountains are, like, nicer looking. <gasps> I found carrot. Oh, it's not just mountains. It's all terrain. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm a little bit excited about this uh, Forgecraft series. There's there's cool things already to check out. Yeah. There's a little bit of a problem in the food department though. I mean, I found melons. I hesitate to break them though. If we found a base, we could start like planting crops or whatever. But where'd you find that melon? They're, 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 like, in world over here. I was hesitant to break them, but desperate times. Yeah, just break one. This kind of looks like someone's base on Oh, sure. <laughs> well, I mean, they're not actually planted, so they might be part of the world gen. And I found some cows. Mm. Well, this is interesting. This structure is built out of bedrock. What is this thing? Yeah. I don't know. Travel hut from travel huts. Travel hut portal. Interesting. Travel hut glass. Oh, okay. Hello. Hey, there's there's a way in here. What is this? I don't know. I'm not familiar with travel huts mod. Ow, did you just try and punch me into the portal? I missed. I did. All right. Where'd you go? Oh, it goes to another one. Oh, neat. Can you get back? Teleport you 320 blocks away. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hey, there you are. Nice. That'd be convenient. So if we just go to the red one a couple times. Oh, what? Do you wanna? Do you wanna? Do you wanna go far away? I don't wanna be too far from the spawn. Well, I mean, if we're using travel huts, it shouldn't be that bad. Uh, I guess so. Just we can go back. So, right again? Oh my gosh. Pink trees everywhere. So, so when we went through red, does that mean we came out green? I think, right? Yes. Cool. I can't hear. There we go. You're probably generating a lot of terrain by doing this, I want you to know. And this place didn't get any better. Yeah, we are. <laughs> are we Details. doing this again? Can we stop? I don't want to generate all the terrain. <laughs> All right, none of these are getting better. I was hoping Can for we go back through wild. greens? Let's go through greens. I want to go back. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little nervous. That's fine. All right, we're back. We're back where we were. <laughs> we're on an adventure. We are. Uh, let's find a place to call home, and then we will have more fun. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop recording for a sec while we go find a place. Dude, I really like this this ATG spawn thingy. Yeah, it makes everything but nice and smooth. It does. Like like the mountains are like quite nice looking. Mm -hmm. Any kind of trees on it look kind of epic. 
yeah. just stand out in the mountain. Definitely cool. Patch. Oh, this is neat. Two. Okay. Some roots. I'm guessing that's a roots world gem structure. It's probably been raided by other players by now. But they didn't take the chests! <laughs> yes. Probably because there's an <laughs> abundant amount of wood. Touche. <laughs> Someone wants to know how long until we have infinite power? Yeah. Give us a Day few three. minutes. We'll, we'll be there soon. <laughs> we'll be there soon. Unlimited nether stars and whatnot. You, know. now you promised no unlimited nether stars. This is true. Well, okay. I promised while you're gone and we'll have a couple days until after, maybe a week, maybe two weeks until we have it. But one day, one day we'll have unlimited. One day we will have unlimited. So yeah, this Just server nothing. got spun up literally a couple days before I'm going out of town. So I'm going to get a few episodes done and then we'll be back. And hopefully Soren will have not progressed too far in the interim. Can I throw this rock? Mm. The answer is yes. And apparently I threw it at you, so hopefully it didn't hit you. Apparently the lag spikes that we're seeing is a little bit of a known issue, and they're, like, already fixed. So I'm, we fixed. might have a server update at some point in the near future, but we'll see. Okay. I have pumpkins! I have a lot of wood, but I don't have much by way of food. Where did you... Oh, you're all the way up there. Okay, cool. Yeah. We need food. Sorry, I'm going to start going to I have mutton. I'm also gonna get like wool so we can make a bed. I thought that would be smart too. Okay. Uh, like, does this look like a nice place to call home? Like, it's pretty nice. Yeah, area. I'm actually looking at it. I like it. Well, I just have to clear out the grass, but past that, we're good to go. Yeah, and that shouldn't be too bad. Like, I'm sure that. Ooh, there's a lot of things in this chest. Book of Spellcraft, Book of Herb Lore. That's cool. I like the looks of that. Do we have uh, any mods that a sickle of some kind? Hmm? We do. Go there ahead. is a sickle from Extra Utils 2. Nice. How much damage does it do? There's also two. sites from Biomes of Plenty. Oh, hey, we actually have slimes too. Oh. That's convenient. <laughs> Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, there's a slime island not not very far away. And there's some kind of world gen structure in the distance. I think it's another one of those travel huts. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be nice. So I got melon seeds. Uh we can we can make some I'm gonna let I'm gonna start digging like a tunnel of some kind. Some kind of mine. So many slimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna punch down right. until I get some actual stone. Not the stone that I wanted, but okay. There we go. Wait, oh, yeah. do we have a inventory sort mod of any kind? I don't know. I tried to middle click and I didn't have any success Looks with like that. It. Um, I'm going to start reading off the mods that are in the instance for my viewers. Do you want me to uh, push to talk for that? Or yeah, no? yeah. Okay. Yeah. I need to know okay. Uh, so, current mods. There's more to be added. Uh, like, I know a few mods are being worked on um, that aren't 111 yet, but they will be added, obviously, as soon as they can be. But we've got... Oh, I found a zombie. That's a mod. Okay. Ouch, he said. <laughs> He literally said ouch when I hit him with the sword. He Did or he someone. Really? I, I, I don't know if it was him. So, the word ouch appeared on the screen. In like Batman <laughs> style fashion. Okay. Oh. It's now sleeping appeared in the middle. Not in the... Oh. oh good, we have dense ores. Because I just found some dense coal. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so actually additions. Ambidextrous, Aroma Core, uh, ATG... Items of plenty, build craft. We have build craft? Apparently we have yes, build craft. Yes, that's how that one. <laughs> a lot of broken textures, but I'm wow, I didn't know build craft was like out for one eleven. It was skipping one ten. That's kinda cool. 
I and you remember the mining well? I was. I. We can make our friend machine. Well. <laughs> I. I was unaware that Billcraft was going to be here, but that's kind of exciting. Uh, chisel, <laughs> chisel and bits. Uh, combat help, deco craft, deep resonance, uh, dense ores, dynamic surroundings. Not a hundred percent sure what that is. But... Which is sound. The, okay, cool. All this stuff. All these extra sounds that I'm hearing. And if you click out of the window right now, it'll mute the game. So, oh, that's cool. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. I'm getting better tools while I while I talk about the mods. Um, you have any so We left off with dynamic surroundings, elect core, embers, extra utilities, two flat colored blocks, forestry. Funky locomotion. Did you know we have that again? Yes. Hello. I'm here for cobble if you could spare, like, some. Oh, cobble? Uh, yeah, you can have some. Links. Nice. Uh, we've got gear swap, GPS, HCMW. I have no idea what that is. Mcraft? M I am Mcraft? No idea what that is. I don't know either. <laughs> Homecraft Mineware? Looks Sounds neat. like a kitchen. Is that is that Rorax's thing? I don't know. Mineware. And Maybe? Mcraft is immersive craft, which looks cool. Uh, I'm just looking at this stuff. Uh, GPS, uh, let's see, immersive engineering. We have industrial craft, int wheel. Don't know. Uh, iron chests, item zoom. That was that thing at the beginning, I presume. Oh, I found bauxite. If I'm not mistaken, that's aluminum, right? Do what? Bauxite is aluminum. Yes. Nice. Uh, so I'm I'm mining. Do you want to work on food? I is in progress now. Cool. It's growing. Nice. Uh, I actually have some food that I can cook. Uh, I'm gonna cook this up. Yeah, no, I would totally love to have middle clicking be a thing. Every single sound for crafting is gonna be silly. <laughs> and yeah, middle clicking is needed. All right, you can have those two mutton that are in there. Sure. Oh, and I will make a bed for us. Does that sound super cool? That sounds ideal. I'm going to turn this into the good kind of crafting table. Thanks. Cool. New spawn point has been set. Awesome, we have the mod that lets that happen. Uh, so where did I leave off? Uh, item zoom, IV toolkit. I don't know what that is. Uh, what else we got? JDI, journey map, mantle, McJDLib, MC multipart, memory bar. I think that's the thing that adds that memory bar on the F3 screen. <laughs> One would guess, yes. <laughs> One would assume. <laughs> oh, I found copper. Uh, we've got middle torch which is apparently something that adds a hotkey so if you go into your controls there should be a hotkey under middle torch maybe movement miscellaneous there should be a hotkey somewhere oh. tell me if you find it because i'm not finding it what are we looking for middle middle torch place torch it's under gameplay Ah. And what that does is you push the button. As long as there's a torch on your hotbar somewhere, it'll place the torch regardless of what's actually in your hand. That's kind of cool. I like that. I keep hearing really weird noises underground. 
Mod name tooltip is another mod. Morpheus. That's one that lets you sleep when not everybody else is sleeping. There's walking sound. There's. I'm hearing a witch. That's by the way. a witch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Nice. Not enough wands. That's cool. Open computers. Ranged pumps. Recurrent complex. Refined storage. We totally have refined storage, Soren. Nice. Uh, RF flux, RF tools, RF tools control, RF tools dimension. So all the McJD mods are here. Roots 2, uh, Sheer Madness, Tinker's Construct, The One Probe, Thump, Too Many Graves, Tomb Many Grades. Ha ha ha, I see what they did there. Uh, <laughs> Travel Huts, Weirding Gadget, and Xnet. Weirding Gadget is apparently a chunk loader. So those are the mods currently on Forgecraft. What will happen by next episode is currently unknown. There may be more. Like I know, like Enderio is not here, um, and and I know that he's working on that. Super Circuit Maker is not. Correct. That I don't know the status of. Like I know, last time I, I saw Henry talking, he's like I think he had fourteen hundred errors in his dev environment for Enderio. So like I know he's actively working on Enderio. I just don't know. Yeah. When. I'm collecting as much coal as I can. So I think our order of operations should be to try and quickly get a base up and running, obviously. And um, you like that that thing, the, the 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 placing of the torch thing? It's pretty neat, isn't it? I'm just placing it manually. No. I'm just using Set the hotkey. It's cool. <laughs> There's an offhand button for that too. <laughs> yeah, but offhands are you know offhandy. Little off, aren't they? They are. If I'm being totally honest, I don't love the offhand. I, I hardly ever use it. I'm not. A, I'm not a big fan of its functionality. I don't use it often either. It's just torches that and sigh that I would use it for. Yeah, like my my muscle memory is such that I'm used to just putting the torch in my hand. So it's going to take me a while to adjust. Yeah. Um. But it's 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 a cool idea. Actually, I like it. Yeah, there's some cool mods. There's definitely some new ones too, which makes me all excited. I want to check out Roots too, because I enjoyed the first Roots. Um, mm -hmm. And Embers, for sure. I tried that yeah. in 110, it wasn't done yet. Now it's much better. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely noticed like the newer generation of mod developers, like Actually Editions and Refined Storage and those guys who make those mods, Ellison and, and Elpac, and they... Yeah. Uh, they tend to jump to the newer version of Minecraft a little quicker, which is a good thing. <laughs> so all their mods were updated to 1.11 like a while ago, I think. I'm finding lots of coal, which is kind of nice. So I think we should get a basic building structure up and running. We do have tinkers, so we can get some tinkers tools. Um, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to find some lava if we can, uh, so we can get a smeltery up and running and then like work towards some good tools to go mining with. That's like a plan. Like idea? Yeah. Okay. And clay. Clay's really important to find. All mods are balanced around clay now. Did you hear that? Yep. Seem to be pretty close to 110 as well. <laughs> Maybe more so now. I love when I find a cave. It's like the best thing to find. Unless you're trying to finish up lighting something, then it's like, just stop, please. Yeah. Oh, that FPS hits a little interesting. It is. You know what? Mine seems to have settled down a bit, but I also haven't been running around outside that much. 
Yeah. Maybe it's because I'm like it's in a worse game. when I'm mining underwater. Yeah. Like when the texture's updating, it seems. Gotcha. I found clay at least. Well, that's cool. And the TPS isn't actually that bad right now. No, I think it's just all quiet now. I mean, there's a little bit of TPS issues because we have literally like 14 or 15 people on the server, but. All in various locations. Yeah, exactly. Is it raining? Uh, I'm about to go outside and see. It is daytime and it does appear to be clear skies. Um, so when I said it's daytime, oh. that was kind of a stretch. It is literally about to be nighttime. Where is the sun? Oh, over there. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 quickly yeah. sinking. What is this? There's furnace? waterfall sound. Does this furnace cook things? It's you know, I'm I'm thinking I need flint and steel to light it, but it's okay. that's the whole point for immersive. You don't actually have an inventory, you put things into it. Oh, that's neat. I was trying to figure that out. So is this double chest on the bottom meant to be like useful resources, I guess? Mm-hmm. And okay. the top one was just where I had while I go get clay. Cool. This can go in here, this can go in there. That sounds cool. I have a large number of stone pickaxes, and I don't know why. I thought I only made one, but... I threw two at you while you're... That explains it. Hey! <laughs> rise and shine. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so how about I plant some seeds? Does that sound cool? There's some by the water. The left of us. Oh, you picked some already? Or you planted some already? It's three, so you can plant more. I shall, sir. I think it's block updates that are definitely causing a bit of a lag. Yeah. I'm noticing it when oh, I craft. Fixed, that's fine. Um, when you craft? Yeah, because I, I put down the tinkers table and it, it triggers a block update. Oh, okay, yeah. Because it renders the... All right, we'll be back in a second, guys. Hey, buddy, I've uh, cleared out a lot of terrain, and I can confirm that anytime there's like a block update is when that FPS hit occurs. Ooh. I'm gonna plant some uh, crops here around our little, whatchamacallit. Pond, I guess. Yeah, pond is a good word. I found the worm. Yay. Worms are good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had some dirt, didn't I? I'll do some terraforming. Yeah. I'm gonna dig up this sand right next to our pond and get some dirt. go. Nice. So let's get, I'm going to plant like as many seeds as I can. And this looks like a nice spot to throw a worm. Yay. Worms are good for soil. Mm -hmm. All right, so that should help with our food problem pretty quickly. I'm going to go, I think, just get a bunch more worms if I may. Sounds like a good idea. I keep terraforming. Did we happen to get iron while you were down there? Yes, there Ooh. should be some iron in that bottom chest. A good way to get worms is just we to like, have... harvest the terrain. Because it'll turn yeah. back into grass anyway. So don't forget we also have tiny coal. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. 
Because we have actually additions to our correct, sir. Yes. That is awesome. We also have slimes. So do you remember my biggest complaint about the combat update? Was it no spamming? No, it was how like, if there's a block, like tall grass, and there's like a zombie in the tall grass, it's gonna break the tall oh. grass before it. Yeah. You know. So somebody made a mod that addresses that. Really? Okay. Yeah, and we need to get it on here fast. <laughs> It was really frustrating for me once I started playing Invasion, because like Invasion. that that pack you don't want to have that happen in. Like in, it's like, no. oh that's derpy when you're playing like a pack like this, but when you're playing Invasion, it's like <gasps> I hate everything about the combat update. Can imagine. Alright, so we have a healthy amount of worms going. Um Hey, we have a nice foundation here, but We need a horn while we have a bunch of water. I don't know what immersive craft rocks do, but it looks neat. You can throw them and you can make that furnace that I made off this side. I think it's about it. Oh, inventory tweaks is apparently on here. Oh, oh but it's not it. in the instance. Okay. So we can go get inventory tweaks. It's just not in the instance. Okay. Cool. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap up episode one of the Forgecraft series and then come back with episode two to uh, do some more fancy fun things. Does that sound cool? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Double 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the first episode of the Forgecraft series. Um, Soren promises to behave himself, but, you know, let's be honest. We well, can't, we, can't, we can't really trust that. But we'll be back next time and do more stuff. Uh, I think we should get a base going and I'll work on Tinkers maybe. You got it? Okay. Take it easy, guys.